it's Erica, and this is the first time I'm showing my face on this channel. I do have another channel, but I'm not going to talk about it because I don't feel like it. <laughs> and so today I thought I would do an unboxing. I did just pick up Rune Factory 5, and I don't know how to show this to you without my name being on it. So let me rip off the sticker. Oh, luckily it's very easy to remove. I thought I was going to have to like sharpie the whole thing okay there we go so i picked up rune factory 5 and i only just found out yesterday today is tuesday so i only found out that this game is coming out today when i was on my computer last night trying to do some online shopping and then I was going to pre-order this on my Switch, and then my Switch like refused to connect to Wi-Fi, so I was like, okay, I'll just look up the pre-order on the website, and there's no more pre-orders for this, so like on Xseed, or no, on Marvelous, this is website, so I figured that I was like just fucked, and I was not going to be able to get this, but then... My local Best Buy had it in stock, and I got the very last one that I could pick up today, so I'm very excited. Just got back. I'm very sweaty, as you can see, and it's like 80 degrees today. If you hear, like, typing in the background, it's my boyfriend. Wow. So this is what the front looks like, and this is my first time, like, doing it in boxing, so if it's a little scuffed, my bad. But I'm not going to apologize because I don't know how to do these. This is what the back looks like. So it comes with the box, obviously. A steel book case. 13 exclusive outfits not sold individually. It's DLC, but I believe you can buy it for just $2 anyway. So if you missed the pre-order, it's not that big of a deal. From what I've seen, the, this box is still available. It's just that it might not be available right away. And then you get a booklet and... A CD and when I was in my car I almost ripped this open to get the CD and put it in my car because my car still uses CDs and I actually have my Rune Factory 4 CD in it right now so I was listening to it on my way there I I wonder how many of the songs are similar I've only seen a little bit of the gameplay because the graphics are really off-putting for me but I would I knew I was gonna get this game no matter what I just didn't realize until yesterday that it was coming out today so let's open this just like opening one of those airline like lunch kits <laughs> oh wow the book's right on the front so yeah i haven't really seen any gameplay i'm just assuming you're either the blonde boy or the blonde girl on the front cover so this is an art book and then you get this tin which is really pretty wow i'm glad i pre-ordered this I'm just like trying to justify the fact that I spent $80 on this. I did also buy the Rune Factory 4 bundle. And the back just says Rune Factory 5. I feel like I'll be more okay to playing this game now that I've played, you know, <laughs> Legends Arceus and I'm used to like n not the most amazing graphics ever. So we'll see. I don't know why they chose to go in that direction with video games now to be honest oh there's a handbook on the inside which is unusual and the cartridge which is yellow with the woolies ass on it you can see let's see what the official handbook says is this like a guide oh it is a guide the first page says, Greetings, fellow ranger, and congratulations on becoming part of Seed's mission to bring peace and prosperity to the people of Norad. My name is Scarlet, and I wrote this guide at the order, crossed out, request of Rigbarth Outpost's field captain, Livia. I convinced her to cut down her initial 100-page draft. You'll thank me later. Oh, it seems like you'll be a ranger in this game. Obviously, I know nothing about it. Other than the fact that it is 3D and there's the monsters make the same reappearance. I've only played Rune Factory 4. I haven't played anything else in the franchise. But from what I 
heard it's pretty much the same throughout, like the same monsters. And when I was looking through the art book for Rune Factory 4, kind of confirmed it. I don't know if I'm going to read the guide before I start playing or just start playing right off the bat because I don't know. I feel like I have a general idea of how to play the games because I have logged in. I think a third of my hours on my 3DS are Rune Factory, so it was either 300 hours or a thousand hours on my uh, Switch. No, not my Switch. I played less on the Switch because I've already played like three times on my DS, the game, and I feel like it didn't port over that well onto the Switch because, you know, the 3DS has two screens versus the Switch does not, so the way they made the map is you have to, like, press ZL, and it was a little bit inconvenient not having the map all the time, or it would, like, take up a good chunk of your, like, your screen, so anyways, I digress. I'm excited to play this game. The town is called Rigbarth. Oh, this Aries or yeah, I'm just gonna say Aries or Ares. Looks like the dude. And here's a quote: "Fending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting a whole town—that's a lot." Oh, there's voice actors, and then you have Alice. I totally forgot about the voice acting until just now because. Well, it's not my favorite feature of the game. I remember playing it through the first time, just cringing every time I heard, okay, or whatever the other characters say. But I remember hearing okay the most. Ooh, and then there's Priscilla and Scarlet. You know what, I'm not gonna read this because I feel like it's gonna give me spoilers, but this is the art book and, wait, was that Leon? Did I see Leon? It's not Leon. Maybe I could cosplay as her. It's Mis Misagi? Misasagi? <laughs> Is she? Uh... Oh! Never mind, you can't date her. She's someone's mom. Oh my god, these character designs are so cute. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking through this. I am <laughs> not gonna look at this anymore. I want the game to be like a surprise to me, but if you want to see what this book looks like, let me know and I can try and make a separate video on that. I don't know if you're interested. Someone else probably did it, so I don't have to do it. And then here's the DVD. And then on the back is a dragon with a field, which is interesting. I'm going to be putting this in my car because I drive an old ass car. It's not that old, it's 11 years old, but you know, not the newest thing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play. And that's it. <laughs> that's literally everything that was included in here. So let me know if you want to see a playthrough through this. It would be kind of like a blind playthrough because I literally know nothing. I didn't watch, well I mean I watched like maybe a minute total of gameplay, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was just like clicking through. I would be more than happy to record it. And if you want to see gameplay, would you prefer if I spoke over it or just kind of played 30 minutes at a time and then you know just as is no speaking i wonder if anyone makes a return in this i wouldn't mind seeing a 3d leon you can tell who i married every time i played the game in room factory 4 but yeah anyway that's it thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video also let me know if you want to see like i don't know Pokemon memorabilia collection because I do have quite a few things like I have my Dragonite here That hangs on this rack. I literally film in the closet as you can probably guess So I have my Dragonite right here and then a bunch of Pikachus some Snorlax, there's a Whimsicott in the back right here and I think I have more coming in. I have Eevees on my top shelf where You know they didn't fit here before. Like, I didn't have this shelf before, now I do, so it houses my Pikachus. Actually, most of my Pikachus live on the top shelf. I just put it down here to kind of bulk up this shelf, and I'm realizing it's making me look kind of like a weeb, but I should just accept the fact that I might be on my way there, so. Yeah, let me know if you want to see
see my Pokemon collection. That sounds so a little bit not a little bit. That sounds kind of nerdy, but I would I would love to share and showcase everything I collected because everything has a story. So yeah, bye. <laughs>